the great famine of 1315 this is a part of world history middle ages what is a background to the great european famine of 1315 by the beginning of the 14th century the population had grown to such an extent that the land could provide could not provide enough resources to support it at the same time however the western european climate was undergoing a slight change with the cooler and the wetter summers and earlier autumn storms conditions were no longer optimum for agriculture wet spring in the year 1315 made it impossible to plow all the fields that were ready for cultivation and heavy rains rooted some of the seed grain before it could germinate the harvest was far smaller than usual and the food reserves of many families were quickly depleted what happened during this period the spring and the summer of 1316 were cold and wet again however peasant families now had less energy with which to till the land needed for harvest to make up for the previous shortfall and possessed much smaller food supply in the reserve to sustain them until next harvest. By the spring of 1317, all classes of the society were suffering. Although as might be expected, the lower class suffered the most draft animals were slaughtered seed grain was eaten infants and younger children were abandoned many of the elderly voluntarily starved themselves to death so that the younger members of the family live to work the fields again but about 10 to 15 percent of the population had died from pneumonia bronchitis tuberculosis and other sickness that the starving sufferers weakness had made fatal and were consequently fewer mouths to feed, so Europe was able to recover only slowly. Recovery comes in 1325. It was not until about 1325 that the food supply had returned to a relatively normal state and population began to increase again. Europeans were badly shaken, however, the death rate had been high and even nobles and clergy had perished from hunger. Nobles were one of the elite groups of people in Europe that time. The world now seemed a less stable and gentle place than it had been before the Great Famine.